Farmers in California are fighting back against the notion that they are using too much water in the drought-ravaged state. Correspondent William Lajeunesse has the story tonight from Los Angeles. People have to realize it takes a lot of water to grow food. In parts of California, nut farmer Brad Gleason is considered public enemy number one. Yeah, it does take a gallon to make a nut. It also takes 40 gallons to make a cantaloupe. As the state endures one of the worst droughts on record, agriculture is fighting back against the perception that farmers are wasting water on specialty crops while homeowners get hit with restrictions. We've got 320 million people wanting to eat three meals a day, nearly a billion meals a day in this country, and that's, that's a task. A task that requires water. Right now, on the west side, there's zero. Uh, on the east side, there's zero surface water available. Zero because the state promised farmers water it didn't have, over allocating up to nine times as much water than some rivers can actually supply. It also failed to build a single new reservoir in 35 years. Ag supporters also say the claim that they use 80% of the state's water is wrong. 50% of it goes to the environment, and that, that needs to be told. Not only does river water wash into the ocean, trillions of gallons are held back for obscure but threatened species like the Delta smelt. We desperately need to have a rebound year next year, this coming winter. We don't have that rebound year. Things are going to change. The face of agriculture in California is going to change probably forever. Farmers argue growing food isn't the same as growing grass or filling a pool, that they've already absorbed bigger cutbacks than urban users are just now beginning to feel. But the longer this drought continues, the blame game becomes a shame game that nobody wins. Brett? William, thank you.